Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure a SharePoint website to use as a team project portal in TFS 2015. Let's discuss what needs to be done before we can complete that configuration. Number one, your site collection for the team project collection that your, your project is under, that needs to be already configured with SharePoint. And also uh, the portal site that you are going to configure uh, in this video that needs to be already created on SharePoint site and operational. Uh, the user that you're going to use to configure uh, your SharePoint website to use as a team project portal in TFS, that user needs to have a full access on newly created a portal site um, and then you can complete this configuration. So if you're a SharePoint admin yourself, you can create portal site already and give permission to the user. Uh, if you're not SharePoint admin, please send an email to SharePoint admin or, or uh, um, talk to them so that they can create a portal site for you so that you can complete this configuration. In this video, we're gonna actually do the SharePoint admin work as well too. Uh, we'll create a portal site that we can uh, use for this configuration and then uh, we will uh, come back to uh, TFS. I'm going to show you that uh, how the web portal uh, for your project looks like before the configuration and then we'll take a look after we complete the configuration that how it looks like. So let's go on Visual Studio first. I have a TBS collection. This is my team project collection and I have a couple projects underneath that collection. One is TBS Agile and other is TBS Team. So TBS Agile is one that uh, is the project that we're gonna configure our um, uh, web portal to. So I'm gonna click on TBS Agile, double click on this and click on web portal. This is just the web access of your uh, uh, project in your case whatever the project is this is how it's going to look like if you look in other links right here in the web access of your uh, project you will see that there it doesn't show any uh link that will show that uh okay open the pro uh, uh project portal uh, for this project so this is all you're gonna get if you don't have the web uh, sharepoint website configured uh, or uh, a project portal configured on the uh, on your particular project in TFS so we look at that when configuration is not done so we will come back to it and refresh it once the configuration is completed so in order to complete the configuration click on settings and click on portal settings as you can see that um, it is not configured so we have an option to enable uh, team project portal we have a couple options to do that. One is using SharePoint. This first enable team project and then you can use the SharePoint site as a URL. And if you have a non-SharePoint website and you wanted to use host your uh, web, uh, project portal onto that website, you need to have that uh, URL ready and provide that right here. In both cases, uh, your project portal site needs to be pre-populated. In this video, we're gonna use the SharePoint integration. So click on enable team project and click on configure URL. These settings gets uh, pre-populated from your existing configuration um, and integration between SharePoint and TFS. In my case, it's sites, TFS uh, and TBS collection. This is my collection as you can see right here. And TBS Agile, this is my project. So if you wanted to name differently uh, or whatever, uh, the pre-populated uh, project portal is you need to provide that right here right now let's check whether this uh, tbs agile or the full path right here this project portal is functional or not and if it's not functional we need to go and create that in our sharepoint and i'm going to click here and it says the web uh, web page cannot be um, found as you can see in my case this is sharepoint server tbs sql prod 2 sites Team TFS and TBS collection is my collection again. And TBS Agile is my, my project. So we're gonna take this and see that if we can create on SharePoint. So that's my TBS collection. This, is, this needs to be configured as our point one that we discussed here. That site collection for team project collection is already configured. So since it's already configured, we can see that right here and click on site contents and you'll see that under new subsites there isn't any um, subsite that is uh, configured so i'm going to use this url 
and I'm going to create a, a web portal that I'll use for my configuration. I'm going to click on new web uh, subsite, title, provide title, whatever the title you wanted to give. I'm going to give as my project name is. So this is important. This is the URL that is going to come and check. So in our case, it's TBS Agile. This whole URL plus this TBS Agile. This is the web portal it's going to create. Uh, since we're using it for team project portal, we're going to select that template and leave it just like this. And we'll, we're going to use the same permission as a uh, parent site. If you wanted to give a specific permission, this is for basically uh, the SharePoint admin. So make sure that you have a proper permission for the project uh, for this uh, user on TFS side because that user is going to come and communicate and have need to have full access on this sub site right here. I'm going to click on create. All right, it's created successfully as you can see TBS uh, collection and then TBS agile and this is the web page how it looks like. So now we know that that address exists. We're going to cancel this cancel this and go back to projects portal setting click on enable team project portal configure url and now if you wanted to make sure that if it is functional you need to click on this url and as you can see that it is functional so it was successful on sharepoint side so i'm going to click ok and Reports and dashboards, I wanted to have all the reports and everything on the dashboard of my uh, project portal. So I'm gonna click on, okay, I want that and click okay. And now the configuration is completed. Let's take a look on the web, web portal side that how it looks like. You can do a couple ways. You wanna go back and click on web portal. You can do that or refresh the existing one that we had open. Notice right here, now we have a link called View Project Portal. So if we click on View Project Portal, it's gonna open, um, open a SharePoint web portal for us. Right now we're in uh, TFS. In my case, TBS TFS is basically my team foundation server. And that view project, that portal that I just created for my, uh, for my project, is visible from my uh, TFS side. So in order to access that, you can click on View Project Portal and it'll open up from the SharePoint side, as you can see. So basically, this is it. This is how you uh, configure your um, project portal um, on the SharePoint side. And I hope this video helps.